Hey, we quickly recap the Sunday activity in week three for the NFL algorithm. How'd we do? Everything about this day says mixed. Everything about this day says you won some and you lost some. It's week three. Don't have all the current season stats we need yet. We will for week four. Um, we'll see if that might have had an impact today. But let's go down the list because there were some interesting things that happened today that weren't predicted by anybody. Chiefs crush it, win, and cover. Bears stink. Yes. Miami puts up 70 points. First time since 1966. That sounds like almost 70 years ago. 70 points. They crush it. They cover. Algorithm had it. First two work out fine. Hot Atlanta. Hot problem. This game was the biggest miss of the day. We had them winning 27-16. They lose 20-6. to Under. Bad, bad, bad. Don't know why we underestimated Detroit's defense. But the odds makers get this right. We had an underdog up here and we lost. This is a failure of the algorithm. Dallas, a lose one with a 91% margin. Can't put up any points. And Arizona steals one in the NFC East. No, wait a minute. Arizona's not in the NFC East. No, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking Washington or somebody. They're not. They are in the West. And they pull off a win. Uh, wow. At least we had them down here and did not choose them as a survivor pool pick. If you had Dallas in the survivor pool, algorithm did not strongly advise Dallas. Clearly it had Kansas City, Miami, and our pick, San Francisco, above those. But wow, there we go, bummer. Minnesota and Los Angeles, guess what? Chargers and Minnesota, two teams that blow games. Yeah, there was a lead change in the fourth quarter. Minnesota was up 24-21 at some point, then they blew it. Somebody was going to blow this game. It was Minnesota. Sad for Minnesota fans. Yeah, sad for everybody, including the algorithm. Bummer. We get the points almost exactly right in magnifier of six, though. Packers come back down 17 points to beat the Saints. We get the Saints score almost exactly. We have the Packers winning. That's a win. Buffalo crushes it and covers. Not even close. Bye-bye Washington's undefeated season under new ownership. Bills win. So this is okay. Ravens lose a game to Indianapolis. At least the oddsmakers had this as the third strongest favorite of the day. We had them all the way down here in eighth. So at least we had them off the board and said, don't bet them to win. They didn't go over like this point projection was saying, though. <laughs> it did not happen. Sucks. So this game was a weird miss on both levels. Not good. Jets stink. Why is that news? Shouldn't be news. Jets have always stunk. The last time they won, probably 1969. Not, not the last time somebody put up 70 points, but the last time that Broadway Joe won a Super Bowl, which I believe the only time the Jets won. That was over a Baltimore Colts team. As you can see, Baltimore lost today, and so did the Jets. Uh, Jets stink. Make the Patriots defense look good. At least we had the points here correct, and then nobody can score. So the algorithm's right on that, but has the winner wrong. Jets give up a safety, can't even cover the three, three and a half by screwing up. Oh, terrible. Jets are exactly like the Jets are supposed to be. Stinky. Seattle wins. Puts up more points than we thought, but they win. That's a win. Houston, the bright underdog spot of the day. The only underdog we hit. At least it paid 330. We got Jacksonville's points exactly correct, and Houston somehow puts up more a lot in the first half and wins. So that's a win. Here's another terrible miss. Tennessee did not show up. How did Tennessee beat the Chargers? Was it because I had the Chargers on a huge round robin last week and it, it, it destroyed me? Is that why? Uh, I don't know, but they played crappy, apparently. Didn't do anything. I don't know what Henry did, but it wasn't impactful, clearly, if they can open up three points. They give up 27. Bad miss for the algorithm. So it's a mixed day. I hope I warmed it, you know, did my warning of, you know, not enough good stats yet. Week three is tough. We get about a random noise day, honestly. And so it is what it is. It's not miserable, but it's also not good. And we got to figure out why we lost weird games like Atlanta and why we got Tennessee so wrong. Let's stop favoring the Jets, hopefully, now that they, they, they're they not coming off that win from Buffalo anymore. They've come off two bad losses to a Dallas team that loses to Arizona. I don't think there was any way we were predicting Dallas would lose, but at least we had them down here as the fourth on the day. So that's a, a small win for the algorithm in that sense. The games that are going on tonight, uh, it is no score yet, I think, in the first quarter with the game between – here it is – the game between the Raiders and the Steelers, which we think is going massively under at only 30 points. 
of a projected 43. So that's really the call for that game all the way down there. And it's just weird low scoring game. The Raiders can barely win apparently at a, at a slightly favored line. And then Monday night is gets interesting to see if Tampa Bay actually does something against the Eagles. We should refresh the injury report and take a look at it, which I think I will do before Monday and talk about this game separately in a Monday video, because there's also the Rams game where we do favor an underdog, or at least we did. And I know Burrow was questionable. All right. Good luck, everyone. I hope he picks one today. It was tough to win money with the algorithm today. And I'm not going to say it was a good day because it wasn't. It also wasn't a miserable, horrible day. If um, if things like the Packers had not come back, if Seattle had not won, if Houston had not won, it would have been a miserable, miserable day. It was about even. It was. All right. Good luck. I hope he picks one today. And may they win in the future.